Hey guys, um, this is my sixth Autowitz coding tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to be covering arrays, which is just like, um, in other words, uh, a list of information. So um, I already have the code out because uh, less chances of mistakes, and uh, I could just go along and explain it to you, which is kind of easier. Um, so in this case, I'm going to have a variable text equal this little string of text, which will have A, B, C, all separated with line breakers. And um, I'm going to split it into an array or make it into an array. So in this example, these, these three um, letters, A, B, and C, are going to be split by that little line breaker. So it's going to turn into a list like A, oops, A, B, Wow, and C. Kind of like that. That just right there is an array. And I'm going to, since it's going to be an array, you have to dim it. And this function, I don't know, really exactly know what it does, but it, I th I'm pretty sure it allows the variable to be um, made into an array. Because normally if you just have something that's, like, it's it's according to auto, it's syntax. If you have an uh a variable that's going to be made into an array, but auto it doesn't know that. It, I think it just errors. So if you let them know that you're going to be making an array, it um, does the it's it does the necessary um, adjustments to whatever the code is to allow it to work. But yeah, you're going to use dim, and um, the new variable is going to be split because I'm going to split it, and then in this little um, array box I call it, it's going to be three for three parts: a, b, and c, three parts or three letters. And then down here, that split is going to be stored. What's going to be stored is the split, um, the letters. And to get them, I'm going to use string split. And I'm going to split the text, the string up here, the text variable, into um, its parts by the line breaker. So it's going to split by the line breaker symbol things. And then it's going to make the array into, it's going to store the array return values into the, um, the split pieces. So in this array box, it's going to be one for the first part, two for the second part, and three for the third part. And essentially, it's going to become A, B, and C. Um, okay, yeah, that's pretty much it. So I'll go ahead and show you with a message box. All right, there it is. That's exactly what an array is like. It's just a list of information. Sometimes you get information like that. Sometimes you have to organize it like that. And in this case, I organized it like that. So there you have A, B, and C. I dim the array, so I make uh, I, I notify auto what that's going to occur, and then I split the text ver the string of text up by the line breakers into A, B, and C, or the split pieces, and then you get the return value as variables. And if you're wondering what that and 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 then C R L F, it's um, an auto function or not really a function. It's just a uh, addition that allows. Um, when added, it it sets a new line, so A and then new line B, new line C. And you have to add the little and symbol so it auto it recognizes it as it, as you're using it. If you don't, just an, uh, an error would occur. But so yeah, that's um the basics of oops, yeah the basics of um, an array. Um, you could also have it. Oh, here, what time? Is it? Okay, I can show you quickly. Um, inside a for and next loop. Um, with the, which um will relate to this array I'm gonna have those splits but I'm gonna use a for and next loop let's show you something cool so in this loop I'm gonna go from x equaling 1 to 3 oops 2 3 and since it starts at 1 I'm gonna have split oops I'm gonna have piece variable p oh, I don't even know that spell right variable piece equal the current split so, um, and it's not going to be 1, 2, or 3, it's going to be the variable, because in this for loop, it has x equaling 1, then 2, then 3. And, um, so, it's in this loop, it's going to go from 1 to 3, and each time, so it's starting at 1, x is going to equal 1, and it's going to store that array value split and then one's going to be in here because the variable x and to piece 
So whatever current um, x value in the loop is um, whatever it's going to be, it's going to be the part um, of the array. So since it starts with 1, it's going to um, display the first array value, which is A, the second B after, and then finally C. I'll go ahead and show you. So first comes A, then B, and then C, and then it finishes. So yeah, that's a quick example of how you use it with loops as well, so it's pretty cool. In case you have a project that involves loops, you can just set it up like that. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial on arrays. Um, see you.